So, second video for today. Again, still not reacting to anybody. But my spiritual path has gradually over the course of probably the last few months has taken a hard lean further into the left hand path and this entity or deity that I'm focused on and working with is Baphomet. Um, something about Baphomet has always kind of called to me. He's always been present. Um, I have the sigil of Baphomet everywhere in this office all the way to on my computer I have the sigil of Baphomet um, twice sigil of Baphomet back there statue of Baphomet over there at my altar um, which I will be adding to this particular video I will show some very shaky footage of my altar um, and I feel that I got um, a leather bound book of shadows with the symbol of Baphomet not the sigil the symbol of Baphomet um, etched into the cover and normally with the book of shadows um, whatever kind it is I will do an incantation short little spell a bit of a cleansing just to kind of clean and protect it um, from you know negative energies and things like that and so after doing this cleansing and you know this this protection incantation on my book of shadows with the Baphomet symbol on the cover something hit me and I think it was information that Baphomet was giving to me and it was an explanation of what the left hand path is supposed to be rather than what it is perceived to be. And it's an interesting take, something that you probably won't normally find someplace else. I don't think. I haven't found anything in regards to it. But the essential idea behind it is... The left-hand path is not inherently evil. And working with or in darkness is not inherently evil. Light and dark are not synonymous with good and evil. Good and evil are representative of your intentions in life and in magic. Your actions and your character dictate good and evil. And behind the action, the intention. The easiest way to explain that is that there are actions that we know of that are in society considered to be inherently bad. Easiest example, for contrast, killing somebody. 
killing someone is inherently bad. It's a bad action. We know that, you know, legally speaking and morally speaking, taking another life is apprehensible. It's this, it's this horrible. And even with that, there are exceptions to this. So if somebody breaks into your home and potentially wishes to cause harm to either yourself or your family, you are within your right to take that person's life to protect yourself and to protect your family if the need arises to do so. And under most circumstances, at least within the United States, after you know a brief and sometimes thorough investigation, no charges will be brought up against you because of the intention and the reason behind what you are doing. As is such with the idea of light and dark. So if a ne bad action, a negative action, a, a normally considered evil action can be said to have been taken with good intention... When it comes to light and dark, those things are constantly and always connected. Always. They are always one and the same. In the day, we appreciate the beauty of nature. A beautiful flower sprouting out where one may think that a flower is incapable of sprouting. And you can see that flower in the day from your window or go outside and see it. And then the night comes, the darkness, and takes away the ability to see. We don't inherently hate the night because we can no longer see the flower. The flower is still there. The beauty still exists within the night. The night isn't evil. It does not have good or bad intention. It simply is. And we understand that the night, with the night, comes regeneration, healing, sleep, dreams, divination. The night holds its own key and necessary parts to the world around us in our lives. The left-hand path, as I understand it, and as I've been told and explained, is not necessarily or inherently worshipping entities that are considered to be evil or dark because of whatever story you decide to listen to, but rather understanding that every deity and every god and goddess and spirit that you work with has a light and dark side. And that by following the left-hand path, you remove the reservation of fear for understanding and balance and understand that working in balance with yourself gives you power, that you're not limited to only what a book will tell you is good or bad, but what you understand and need to understand about yourself, the world around you, and the entities that you work with, and not being restricted to only working with what's considered dark or only working with what's considered light, or understanding that Gods and goddesses that are normally considered gods and goddesses of the light also have a dark side to them. Even the Christian God has two sides to him. The Old Testament and the New Testament. It's two different gods, essentially. One full of wrath. The other full of love, supposedly.
for me, my journey on the left-hand path is one of balance and understanding that I myself am both light and dark. I'm not evil. By no means of the imagination am I evil or is anyone on the left-hand path that I have met thus far evil. We merely have a deeper and more profound understanding of the balance that exists in the chaos and through chaos. And just as nature is both beauty and chaos, flower and the trees in the air Hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanoes, earthquakes, forest fires. Nature herself can be the most beautiful maiden, the most infernal hell, and all at the same time. This is the understanding. This is the balance. And that is where I stand with the left-hand path and my travel on it. And where that may advance or move forward, I'm unaware. But I am dedicated to Baphomet. And so much so that through the trance writing that I was doing, which is where this message came to me from, is I lit my altar, I focused, I did my incantation on my book of shadows, and I let myself allow myself to go into a chance, trance. And I believe, I feel, I know that Baphomet spoke through me onto those pages. And the seed was planted that there needs to be a deeper understanding. And so I have founded Ordo Gloria Causa Santani is the order of Baphomet. I find it quite interesting that Baphomet translated to Latin is Gloria Causa Santani. So, with that being said, my path is more defined. The content that you're going to find on here is going to be more defined, more refined. We'll still be doing our reactions. We'll still be calling out pieces of shit like John Ramirez. But I feel a calling now. And I hope all of you will join me on this journey. For today, that's going to be it. I think this is the shortest video I've ever made so far. And I'll see you guys in the next one.